When fertilizing in our home landscapes, we shouldn't forget about our fruit trees. Typically, there are several clues we can use to determine how much fertilizer we may need to apply. The first clue would obviously be to use a soil test, and that would be the most accurate way to determine the fertilizer needs for a tree such as this cherry tree. But there are also other clues we can use, such as the look of the tree. Healthy trees should actually have large green leaves. They should have the fruit set on and developing normally. And there also should be a, a relatively few cracks and damage areas on the bark and the trunk of the tree. If a tree is showing symptoms such as yellow leaves, small leaves, poor fruit set, and a lot of trunk damage, it may be an indication that we are lacking in some nutrients. The best time to fertilize established fruit trees is when they enter the bloom period. And typically, we're most concerned with the nitrogen in the soil. So in general, a lawn fertilizer, such as a high nitrogen fertilizer that's available at most garden centers, will work just fine to fertilize a fruit tree. We just need to be aware that we can't use anything that has any herbicide or pre-emergent in it, as this may damage the health of the tree. Now for a tree like this that's uh, probably four to five years old, we're going to actually use about a cup of high nitrogen fertilizer. Now for a new tree that's just been planted, we don't need to use near that much, probably only a quarter of a cup of the high nitrogen fertilizer. So what we'll do is simply walk around this tree and try to, trying to keep the fertilizer out from the trunk, but spread in between the trunk and the edge of the tree. Once we've finished our application of fertilizer underneath the tree, we need to go ahead and water that in and then wait till the next year and evaluate once again to see if our tree may need another application. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.